Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's RTC TV4 broadcast, where we're watching the cast and comets take on the uh, Knox Redskins. I'm Blair Zimmerman, joined on the other headset by Aubrey Dagg. Aubrey, welcome back. It's been yeah, a while. I'm back. After that dumpster fire soccer game <laughs> and football season, I'm here with a sport I actually know. Well, Woo. I'm looking forward to tonight's matchup. We just watched a really good JV game. Uh, actually, you'll see the score is still up on the scoreboard. Uh, so the, the JV Comets pulled out a nine-point win over the JV Redskins. So uh, we're hoping that we will see similar action for the varsity game. John Harrell is calling for a close one tonight. Just a one-point victory predicted for the Comets. Absolutely, the kind of uh, prediction that can go either way. Oh, absolutely. It all depends on who shows up and who wants to win the most. Absolutely. Um, and I don't know if you had an opportunity to catch the uh, the boys game last week. Home, I was there. Actually, that was the um, special night for Don King, wasn't it? That was, that yes, was. Yes, I was here for Which that. Which was a very awesome that thing. Um, and um, anyway, uh, as I was saying, that was just really impressive ball game for the comments. Uh, passes look good. Just a lot of the things that over the last couple of seasons have been issues weren't that night. I think that the guys were 15 for 18 from the free throw line. So, um, and we've both seen game after game after game um, can be won and lost at the free throw line. It, it really can. I mean, I've seen it tons of times, boys and girls basketball. I mean, you can win just by free throws. Well, absolutely. I mean, uh, the... The Comets won that last game here at home by 12 points, and again, 15 of those were from the free throw line. That was, that was the difference between winning and losing. Um, so hopefully they are still on for free throws night, good clean passes, and uh, press breaking. Uh, every, every team we play knows that traditionally the way to trip up the Comets is to put on a full court press. So. Yes, and we've actually proven a lot better. I did notice, however, the JV did struggle. Like, they got it broke, and then they were still going way too fast after they right. broke it, and that's when they turned it over. Like, they had it broke perfectly fine. They were here trying to set up their offense. They were just going way too fast. Right, they didn't They didn't get across the line and then take the time. So hopefully the, the varsity comments with a little bit more season uh, will, won't struggle with that. So... Well, ladies and gentlemen, just under five minutes till we get underway, I'm going to give you an opportunity to uh, go make sure that you've got your beverage of choice ready, uh, that you got yourself some snacks while we get ready for some uh, first half action here on Casting TV on RTC TV4. We're going to step away for a few, watch, uh, few words from our sponsors. Stay tuned. Tippy's Pizza in Winnemac is your local stop for fresh out-of-the-oven pizza and ice-cold drinks. Whether you're just stopping by for a drink or bringing the whole family in for dinner, Tippy's Pizza is the place to go where the drinks flow as smoothly as the river. Hello, I'm Harry Webb of Webb's Family Pharmacy. Were you one of nearly 7,000 patients we served last year? If not, I'd like to invite you to check out our locally owned pharmacies. Transferring your business is easy to do. Just one call and we'll take it from there. While our competitive prices are important, our success comes from our knowledgeable and compassionate staff. Make Webb's Family Pharmacy your pharmacy. Just one call, and we'll take it from there. Hello, I'm Harry Webb of Webb's Family Pharmacy. There's been a lot of hype about CBD oil. The truth is, you better know what you're getting. St. Jean CBD products from Webb's Family Pharmacy deliver 99% pure CBD extract in a natural hemp seed oil. They are an Indiana-based company committed to quality and purity from farm to pharmacy. St. Jean CBD products are only sold in pharmacies. So talk to one of our pharmacists at your local Webb's Family Pharmacy to help select a safe CBD product that can help bring balance to your life. The Winning Edge is your local provider for all your school athletic needs. From providing customizable sportswear to engraving trophies, The Winning Edge strives to help teams find their edge on the playing field. Visit The Winning Edge today. 
Locally owned and operated, Mike's Trash LLC in Rochester is your local service for all your trash removal needs. Whether you're a big business or a local resident, Mike's Trash LLC will be sure to take care of all your waste removal needs. Contact Mike's Trash LLC today. Got that new home addition and you're keeping it covered. Ooh, coverages now. I can help with this. Got zone coverage, man coverage, combo coverages. I don't know, Peyton. I think more like the coverage your nationwide agent offers. Oh, you want to go there? Home, auto, life, yep. business, farm, boat, RV, ATV, camper, pet, motorcycle, your tour bus. Right. Did I mention farm? Contact Jennings Insurance Agency today or visit one of our offices in Argus and Rochester. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Just over a minute and a half until we get underway. Just, I don't know, I, I'm anxious for some good basketball. We, we saw some good basketball last week. and I think the boys going into that game had a lot of drive, though. I mean, that was a really touching uh, program before for Don, and it just really brought them in, and they were really hoping to win. I mean, they, oh, yeah. they really wanted to give that to him and make it really special for him and memorable. Thank you for your cooperation. We'd like to remind parents that for the safety concerns, we ask that all children sit with their parents. Children are not permitted to run around the gym, through the hallways, or in the other gym during the game. I'm pretty sure I just saw uh, some parents looking around for their kids after that announcement. I don't know if you folks at home can hear it. But <laughs> they don't all listen to it either. Well, this time, everyone that's true. Stand and all hats be removed as the casting pep band under the direction of Olivia Wooler plays our national anthem. Number three, Gunnar Wag Wagner. Number four, Cade Short. Number 22, Zach Rose. Number 23, Austin Talby. Number 24, Cole McIntyre. Was, was I the only one who heard him start with a number 11? Well, there's no number 11. I know, so I was very confused. I could have sworn he said know. number 11, Gunnar Wagner. And I was like, no, that's... And now for the comments, we've got number four, Luke Lau. Number 21, Joey Spin. Number 13, Hunter Shanelob. Number 22, Jesse Rock Wolf. Number 
And number 33, Mike Rands. You know, Blair, I think we need to work on our starting lineups. I mean, because Don's down there, and he's got a full, like, announcer's voice and everything, putting a lot of emphasis, and you're just like a little echo. Well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. We'll get it over time. Well, I keep saying I'm going to go down and talk to the coaches and get the starting lineups early, and then I, I – have yet to do that. Yeah, I was like on my way here, and I was like, you know, I should have probably talked to some of the boys, because I talked to them, you know, a few days before, but things might have changed and mindsets mm. might have changed between now and then. Oh. oh, wow, neither of them really got a good piece of that tip. Knox getting possession on that, though. And number 22, Zach Rose across midcourt. He's gonna kick it over into that left corner. Up to the top, back in the possession of Cade Short. Back to Rose. Top of the key to Austin Talby. Knox just moving the ball around here. Knox has some pretty good height on him. Baseline drive, and it's in for number 22, Zach Rose. They're all pretty close to the same height and the same build. Yeah, they are. I mean, I was just like noticing that, and they're all very sound. I mean, we have a wide variety of everyone, and that should have been a shot. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised he didn't put it up. Joey Spin is very good at those like drives and putting them up for layups. I've seen him do several from the volleyball line down there in the paint. And I mean, he's definitely someone I look to when People try and use height as a factor right. in like playing in their ability because he's pretty much a short foot shorter than some of those boys. Yeah. I mean, Shot but by number he definitely four. hands it to them. Gunnar Wagner with the putback on that. Yeah, um, he's a good example where ball handling and you know general talent in the game can overcome uh, a height disadvantage. I mean, and honestly, I don't think physical oh, ability should uh, deter someone, especially if they work to better themselves around right. their disadvantage. And he's definitely proven that. And it looks like the Comets are looking to him as the main point guard on the floor. He's took the ball down the floor almost every time so far. I know he spends a lot of time in his off season working on shots, working oh, that's on over. that was that one was a little had too much on it. But uh, you know, working on his ball handling. He, I guess he'll stay out in the driveway and he does dribbling drills on on the gravel. That's so, about the best thing you so can yeah, do. So yeah, because then you're introducing that uneven surface and if you can handle the ball well on that Mm -hmm. Yeah, Unevil, uneven surfaces are about the best thing that you can learn how to dribble on. Right. Uh, I know over the summer I was shooting around with a friend and trying to play one-on-one, -on -one and usually play at full end, which is a Shots nice up paved by number three. Yep. thing. Playing on gravel was hard because then we went over to their house, and I could not handle the ball worth anything, and we did that quite a bit, and it – it made me a lot more confident in my ability even when on flat surfaces. Right, shot by Rands off the mark. Wow. Just taking it right and in Zach there. Zach Rose on, heavily contested. Knox not really putting any full court pressure on, I'm noticing. No, and I kind of would have figured that because the JV, they did put on a pressure. They did. And I think maybe deeper into the game they might, depending on if they feel it's going to be a close game. Comets, though, really have to pick up. I mean, they've not had, aside from that one air ball by spin, they've not had any shots that were way off the mark, but they are just shooting one for four so far tonight. 
Yeah, they've had several shots, and getting shots is not the problem. It's getting them to fall. Right. But then again, I don't know what's happening because Jesse Rockwolf has passed off several, several shots. And usually he's a key shooter. He was last year. I mean, he had a right. beautiful shot, had a lot of spin on it. Foul here on number four, Cade Short. His first, team first, and that dubious honor of game first. Wow for go. Oh. Wow for three and got got just shut down on that. Wow, that was a that was a lot of bobble. We still didn't end up with it. And three pointer there for Kate Short. And with that, comments are going to call a timeout. We're going to step away for this word from our sponsors on Cast and TV here on RTC TV4. This is the 32nd time Christmas has been hosted in this house. 32 times decorating the tree. Holiday dinners. Memories. All protected by their independent agent. And the company that stands behind them. Auto Owners Insurance. Contact Jennings Insurance Agency today or visit one of our offices in Argus and Rochester. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 334 left in the first here. Knocks out to an early seven-point lead this evening. Spin at the volleyball line. No pun intended. With a spin move, kicks it over to the right to Rockwolf. Rockwolf tries to send it in the paint. It's uh, swatted out of bounds by Knox. I think, yeah, it was a foul. Oh. Oh. Cam Klein and Kane Zyder. Kane Zyder. Boy, wow. Mr. King was suffering with Cam's name, and I got caught up on Cade's. Putting them together is kind of a tongue twister in itself. Oh, Zyder a little off on that three-pointer. Zyder's another great three-point shooter. He came in last year as a freshman and just quickly became one of the go-to shooters. Three-point there for number 24, Cole McIntyre off the mark. The comments are letting go of a lot of rebounds here. And given a lot of three-point looks. Yeah. Yeah, they're definitely leaving them open on the three-point line, and they've already proven that they can hit them. I mean, they're going to take them as long as they hit them. And Wagner picking up a second foul here. Third for the Redskins. Spin across midcourt, sends it to the right to Zyder, back to the volleyball line to Rands. He's going to float it over spin on the right again. Spin to baseline, kicks it back to the top of the key to Rands. Over to Klein, Zyder on the left, back to Klein, top of the key to Rands. Spin on the left, or right, right, left. It's hard. That was a great crossover there. Spin in the corner. Shot by Cam Klein and... Just a little off the mark and knocks with that rebound. There were no comments down there to even remotely rebound. You know, that just kind of amazes me. I mean, right. it's... Games are won and lost on those rebounds. Those are your those are your extra attempts. Cole McIntyre with two. Strong baseline attack. Trying to send it into Shane Lobb in the paint. Gets picked off. Three-point attempt by number 34, Braxton Geller. Nine-point game in Knox's favor now. Oh. Zyder for three. That, that one was good. good. Redskins down under their basket in the paint. Oh. Stuffed. Oh, but I think that's a foul on Cade there. He tried to go get that rebound, but, or the SWAT got his arm caught in the ball. Yeah. His first team first. I mean, with a minute 26 left in the first, that's not too bad at anyway. So he's yeah. still pretty safe. In the paint there, shut down and. We have a jump ball here. 
possession arrow is for the Comets. Just over a minute left here in the first. Six point game for Knox. Spin sends it to Klein on the left. Into the paint to Shane Lobb. Kicks it back out. Zyder for three. And it's good. Board. That's back to back three pointers for Zyder. Well, if he can keep sinking those. Back in for the conference number four, Luke Lau. Joey Spin gonna get a break here. Luke Lau back in for the comments. We've got uh, Rose meeting Lau. Sends the ball to the right side. Back over to Zyder. Zyder for another three. Oh, just, just off. off the mark. Knox with that rebound. Oh, that. So say, how many steps are we going to take here? Oh, we're calling oh, it a foul, though. I, say, I don't know if it's a foul or a travel or what it is. That on Rands. Mm -hmm. No, that's oh, on Lau. Lau. His first, team second. Sam Smith and Rock Wolf in for the Comets. Ball into number four, tries to put it up. It's no good. Comets with the rebound. That was a miss for Cade Short. Oh, that's a foul. And we're going to have a foul here on number 22, Zach Rose. That'll be his first. Team fourth. Rock Wolf going to send it in the backcourt. 26 seconds left in the quarter. Wow, across midcourt now. A lot of pressure there by Rose. Ten seconds left in the quarter. They're Cut definitely loop. playing a very tight man-to-man. -man. I mean, they're not letting any three-point shots up. <laughs> Lau with that buzzer beater off the mark. We're going to go uh, into the second. Knox 11, Comets 8. We'll be right back after this word from our sponsors on Cast and TV on RTC TV4. Community State Bank has maintained a tradition of service since opening our doors in May of 1930. For the past 88 years, we have been committed to building personal relationships in all of the communities we serve. Offering both personal and business accounts, Community State Bank is your local friend and neighbor. Stop by any of our local offices to set up your accounts today. Online at csbnetbank.com. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Getting ready to go into the second. The Comets managed to uh, close that Knox lead to within three points there in the second half of the first quarter. Uh, pretty even on turnovers that quarter. Uh, I had both teams down for six, and I know I missed some, but gives you the gist. Uh, Comets came out early with some shooting lows and uh, managed to start hitting their shots. Knox, on the other hand, came out swinging and then went on a streak of missed shots, so. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was definitely a very well played basketball game so far. I mean, both teams are playing their pace. I feel like the comments sometimes get frustrated Oof. with how physical Knox is being, but they're oh. like conforming to that. Right, foul on number four, Luke Wow. I thought that was gonna be on Zyder. Rand's back in for Lau. And Brock Talby in for the Redskins. Zach Rose gonna put it in. Sends it in to uh, Talby. Over to McIntyre. Back to Rose. Up in the center ring. Send it over to Brock Talby. Inside to McIntyre. McIntyre throwing some elbows, kicks it out three. to Rose for three off the mark. Comets with the rebound. Let's 
Ben sends it to the Stop. corner to Zyder. Rock Wolf back to spin. Back to Rock Wolf. Ooh. That looks spin trips. real painful. Yeah, you don't need all the skin on your body. Eh. Over to Zyder. Back to spin. They're looking for a, an open shot here. Zyder for three. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It'll get stuck on top of the backboard. Well, you know, I've had that happen during practices. Never during a game have I seen the ball actually get stuck. And I've had it get stuck in between the rim and the backboard. <laughs> but never actually on top <laughs> gets other balls stuck. <laughs> that would be, that'd be pretty funny. And that's, I mean, that's kind of rough now because that was a forced turnover for the Comets. Yeah. I mean, nothing they could do about that. Rose, drive inside the arc, back out, sends it over to Talby. McIntyre on the left. Up short at the top of the, or at the volleyball line, top of the key, kicks it over to Cole McIntyre. McIntyre back to Talby. Talby spins, sends it short. Oh. Tries to go inside. He was very lucky. Uh, Thomas were very lucky that was not called a foul. And we've got an open three. And uh, that's over the back. Austin Talby with uh, an off the mark three point shot. And then Cade Short picking up his second foul. And we got Braxton Geller coming in for the Redskins. Spin across midcourt. Over to Rock Wolf on the right. Down to the post to Shane Love, and it's good for two. I think, is that his first basket for the night? That's his first attempt even for the night, so yeah. Just, uh, Comets haven't been able to get it inside very reliably yet mm -hmm. tonight. We saw in that last possession, they were uh, passing around the outside of the arc. I mean, Knox has gotten it in to the paint a lot more than we've managed. And right there, that's going to be a foul on Rock Wolf. His first, team fourth. Fouls on 22, Jesse Rock Wolf. We're going to send Cole McIntyre to the line for two. 24, Cole McIntyre to the line with two shots. First shot up. Looks good. Cam Klein, made for the comments. Cam Klein coming back in for the comments. Second shot is up off the back of the rim. Comments with the rebound. Mr. Davis does a very, very good job of subbing. He definitely has subbed a lot more than I've seen a lot of people throughout yeah. basketball games. Klein for three, oh. in and out. And <laughs> Comets didn't get that rebound, but they uh, kept possession. Couldn't. Redskins couldn't quite come down with control. Klein dribbling up to the volleyball line. Passes over to Rands. Back to Klein. Inside the arc, Shane Love for a long two, oh. off the mark. Over to Talby on the left. Top of the key to McIntyre. Redskins gonna pass it around. Baseline run, bounced out into three point territory. Oh, off the mark. Oh, coming up behind Rands, there we go. Almost had the tip there for Knox. <clears throat> nice screen set by Shane Lobb there. Oh, I thought that Rock Wolf was going to go for three. Oh. Rands from the paint, no good. And draws the foul. 
Got his own rebound there. I mean, that's that's something you've always got to be ready to follow your ball. And uh, I mean, and he fouled. stuck with it too. I mean, he had a lot of opportunities where he could have just passed it out again, and they could have just restarted the offense. But I mean, this way he now has the opportunity to get back those points. Right. Another Manette on that one. Three Gunner Wagner back in for the Redskins. And Gunner Wagner coming back in for the Redskins. Second shot, beautiful. Redskins fast across midcourt. Rose in the top key, goes into the paint. Send it back to the top of the key. And the 34, Geller. Oh. Wagner taking it to the basket and gets fouled on the way up. He'll go to the line for two. Fouls on number 13. Hunter Shanglob, his first. All tied up at 12. Just under half of the quarter to left. First shot off the mark there for Wagner. Wagner sending that second shot. Off the back of the rim, comments with that rebound. Knox has proven to not be amazing from the free throw line. I think they've missed three or four so far. They've actually or only two. They're only shooting 25%. Uh, three pointer for Rands oh. in and out. Knox not wasting any time getting it down the floor. No, they're a very aggressive team, and they're just struggling the few times they've had to uh, go to the free throw line. Rose off on that three-pointer. Comets with the rebound. Both teams doing really well with defensive rebounds. And we're gonna call oh. a uh, an offensive foul here on yeah, Shane Lobb. Shane Lobb, that's his second already. Fouls on 13, under Shane Lobb, his second, team six. And Kate Zider back in for the Comets. They'll trade out Zider for Shane Lobb. I mean, those two fouls came within minutes of each other. I mean, that can really mess with someone's mentality when trying to play the rest of the game. So. Oh, yeah, because they just get frustrated. I've watched it. There's a couple of uh, your teammates that I, I you can watch that happen, and they just start getting more and more flagrant because they're frustrated. Yes. Uh, yes. So really smart move by Coach Davis to sub out Hunter and just let him kind of cool off. Over in the left corner to McIntyre. Towards the top of the key now in the hands of Talby. Geller on the side. Back to McIntyre. Oh, Into the man. paint to Rose because he's going to kick it out. And we've got Wagner going to the hole. No good. Comments with the rebound. It's amazing how easily Knox can get the ball within the paint. I mean, they just move the ball so swiftly, breaking our defense. That was an amazing <laughs> nice move. move there by Spin. That was amazing. Wow. And the ball already down at the Knox baseline. Nice answer there by Cole McIntyre. Oh, that was too a good hard cut. on that. Good cut, just not on the same. Level yeah, just uh, that. if you don't have your timing just right on a rocket pass like that, then well, that'll happen. Yeah, I mean, I think this is the slowest I've seen Knox bring that ball across midcourt. Yeah, well, but also the comments. There's a three. He off has the missed mark. several threes. Not to call him out or anything, but. Like during a game, you usually look for those that you can sag on to keep your inside more secure. And I mean, I mean, he shot several from three-point line, and yeah, he's he's very willing to spin under heavy contest. Getting his own rebound back. Oh 
There's that fast break out to the right. And, and I believe and the foul, we're in the foul bonus on now. Uh, Klein. Yep. Wyatt Brummett coming in for the comments. We've got Cade Short of the line for one and one. Shots up, and it's good. Shots up. Off the mark, comments with the rebound there. Spin across midcourt. 60 seconds left in the half. One point ball game right now. Brummett over to Rands at the top of the key. Rands inside. Spin move out to Klein. Pass nearly picked off. Back to Klein at the volleyball line. Over to Rands. We'll kind of reset the offense a little bit. Brummett on the right. Spin at the volleyball line. Over to Brummett. Down to the uh, post. And uh, we've got a foul here by number 34, Braxton Geller. His first, team seventh. We'll send Rock Wolf to the line for 1-1. Team seventh, 23, Austin Tullaby for the Redskins. 22, Jesse Rock Wolf at the line with the 1-1. Shots up. That's. I'm always amazed by his shot. I mean, there's just so, so much, much backspin. Spin. There is. I mean, and he's definitely worked hard for that, but wow. And a lot of arc on it. So yes. His 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 shot is like a physics equation in action. Wagner, looking to the coach, coming across midcourt. Looking at the scoreboard, the comments are actually. Up. I think this is the first time. This is the so first time the comments have led. The uh, they've they tied it up uh, early here in the second. Comments or the Redskins, Redskins gonna are definitely looking, looking for that to last make score. sure they get the last shot. And, and that's turnover. Hopefully not gonna ha oh. Oh. oh nails that. Wow, that was incredible. That was an amazing shot, wow. That was an Ooh. awesome way to go into the locker room for the half. Wow, uh, Comet's now up 19 to 15. We're gonna step away for a few words from our sponsors while I try to get some first half stats together. Stay tuned, you are watching Casting Comets Basketball on Casting TV on RTC TV4. Simplify your banking with a simply free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. At First Federal Savings Bank, we appreciate your referrals. Refer your friends to open a simply free checking account. When your friend opens a checking account, you can both receive a free gift. It's easy as one, two, three. Simply free checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. At Oliver Ford, we reach beyond your dealership expectation, help you in making fun decisions on your new vehicle, or let it try our professional touch by our service and parts department. We are the only Indiana new and used car dealership that has won the President Award 17 times. With over 100 years of sales experience, we're here to hold your hand from start to finish with no pressure or gimmicks. Contact us today. Simplify your banking with a simply free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. All it takes is $50 to open the account with no minimum balance and no monthly service fees. For a limited time, you will also receive a free gift just for opening the account. And with Instant Issue, we can give you a debit card right when you open your account, giving you immediate access to your funds. Simply free checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Let RTC TV4 highlight your business or service in our local sports coverage. 
Through our platform, you have the option to use a 30 second commercial that you already have, or you can have us make a 15 second logo sponsorship for you. With eight local schools in our partnership, we're sure you'll reach your intended audience. Sponsor with RTC TV4 today. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just finishing up the stats here. Once again, halftime score, Casting Comets 19, Knox Redskins 15. And uh, while the Comets really picked it up, starting at about the halfway mark, of the first quarter. Uh, first half stats, uh, Comet shooting three for 13 from three point territory, shooting three for eight from inside the arc, and uh, four for four so far from the free throw line. Uh, I had them at about 13 turnovers for the whole half, and uh, they had seven fouls. Closest thing we have uh, to foul trouble right now, Hunter Shane Love and Luke Lau, both with two fouls. Knox Redskins shooting just one for 10 outside the three-point line, uh, shooting five for nine inside the arc and only two for six from the free throw line. I definitely have to imagine that uh, Knox head coach is saying something about uh, turnovers and something about free throws. Uh, once again, Redskins went into the locker room with seven fouls. Uh, and I have Wagner and Short both with two. I did I did miss who picked up that last foul. Um, I just I know that they were you know, both teams were in the bonus, as you mentioned. Uh, Redskins had them at 11 turnovers per quarter so far for 22 quarters in the first or 22 quarters. No. No. Wow, that would be a long game. Yeah, I don't want a night that long. 22 turnovers. Uh, here in the first half tonight. So fairly even matchup. Uh, once again, score just jumped out to a four point lead for the Comets with that long buzzer beater by Rockwell. Uh, that was an incredible shot. Uh, and definitely I think what the, the guys probably needed that going into the locker room. Oh yes. The oh, Redskins yeah. absolutely doing everything they could to run the clock down and get the last shot of the half. Uh, Comet's able to force a turnover there and nail that three-pointer at the buzzer. It was a thing of beauty. The, uh, the, uh, the crowd, as, as small as this crowd is, Christmas time home crowd here tonight, and uh, they absolutely went bonkers. Oh, that. man, the crowd went wild. That, yeah, it was, it was really mean, incredible. I know, though, you've got to think, though, um, Knox only picking up four points in the second quarter. Uh, yeah, I'm glad I'm not in that locker room right now. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, you had just under five minutes before the second half gets underway. We're gonna give you the opportunity to refresh your refreshments and uh, we'll be back here in four, four minutes and 40 seconds. Uh, come back, catch the second half here on Casting TV on RTC TV4.
All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Second half getting underway here in about 10 seconds. And uh, Comet's going to want to keep up that scoring drive they've been on. Uh, you mentioned you mentioned when we were off the air that Comet's outscoring the Redskins yes. in the second quarter. The Comets actually came out and had a really good second quarter. They were down going into the second, but they came out on top. They actually outscored them 11 to 4. We yeah. scored 11 points, and they only scored four in that it was, entire time. It was a pretty big Comets quarter. Which, but looking at it or thinking back anyway, and my stats could be completely wrong, I think Knox put up more shots than the Comets. I believe you're right. Three point for Lau and drains it. That's actually Lau's first score of the evening. Great way to open the second half. He's done a lot of uh, distributing of the ball. He has. And I feel like that's his main position is he's filling an open. Ooh, hatchet job. Surprise, I don't know how there wasn't a foul, a foul call. That's a foul. That was. Yeah, I'm surprised that other one was not called a foul. On like three guys. All right, foul called on 21, Joey Spin. His first, team first here in the second. You know, sometimes I feel as though if ref could call fouls on multiple people, they totally <laughs> would. First shot up and off the mark for Gunnar Wagner. 0 for 3 for him here tonight. Drains the second shot. Wagner waiting for spin at the half court line. Comet's moving the ball really well here. Oh. Nice, nice stop and go by Rams. At first, I definitely thought that that was a shot. <laughs> like, that. Yeah, he did very, a really good fake on that. Yeah, that's a very hard shot and low, but I mean. It proved worth it. Wagner drives baseline, kicks it outside. Open three for Rose. And Nails he hits it. one. That's his first three-pointer of the game. Three-pointer for Shane Law, oh. in and out. Again, no one there for the comments to rebound. That was actually the first turnover of the half, though. Both teams have gone down and scored. That's true. Rose over to short. Short going to send it back to the top of the key. Missed the shot attempt there. I thought Rands was oh. going for that three. Oh. And out of bounds off, off Rands. I feel like both teams are definitely here wanting to win. I mean, they're both working hard. Right, yeah. I feel like Knox, though, feels like they're definitely under pressure right now. Yeah, I mean, sometimes, I know what you're saying, because sometimes you think, well, both teams should always want to win, but sometimes you can tell a team comes oh, in. Oh, a charge! Offensive foul on Wagner there. That'll be his third foul tonight. But uh, sometimes a team comes in and you can tell that they just, they're defeated from tip yes, off yes. and they play differently. I mean this Knox isn't playing like the easy going that they were in the especially the first quarter. Right. I mean when they didn't have they didn't have a press and they still don't have a press. I mean sometimes they set someone higher. Right. But it's still not compared to the first quarter when they were very like nonchalant, let's get the ball going. Right. And it was their game. This kind of turned more into the Comets play pace and how they play the game. Right. Knox there with the kick. Comets getting a chance to reset. Spin driving in the paint. Going to send it back out. 
Over to the left to Lau. Three point for Lau. The, uh, the block attempt actually looked like it turned out to be just the right amount of tip to make sure that ball dropped. I don't know if they actually got a hand on that. I, th I thought that they brushed a finger on it, but I could be wrong. All right. We're gonna drive baseline, kick it oh. back, and oh. got that roll. Number four, Cade Short. Shane Lobb over to Lau. Lau up to Rockwolf at the volleyball line. And we're gonna have a foul called here on 23. I was just getting ready to say that the uh, Knox defense is getting a lot tighter, a lot yes. more aggressive. Yes, they're course, looking for those steals so they can just get easy layups. I mean, that's really what they're looking for right now. Well, Kasten has uh, extended their lead to six now at this point. Gonna send the ball into the backcourt to spin, still no pressure. Kicks it out to Zyder, Zyder for three. Oh, in and out. Smith almost coming up with that rebound, but not quite getting his hand on it. Oh, Ooh, spin with the steal, gets it tripped. <laughs> Oh man, trying to go for that steal, not quite getting it. And, and then Short pulling up in the paint, putting it in for two. Man, he was really going for it. I, I, mean, know, I thought he was going to get it, but then he got I tripped up. I kind of feel like, it. yeah, I almost feel like that might have been a missed opportunity for a foul call, but I guess Joey really didn't have total control off of it. Oh. Takes it to the basket and... Ooh. Oh, that was physical. Yeah, that looked like a closed fist. Yeah. Some not happy fans <laughs> Foul here number 34, Knox Braxton Garrell, Geller. Yeah, this uh, Knox crowd over here is sounding a little aggressive. Um, intimidating. <laughs> Zyder for three. Oh. Off the back of the rim. And I don't know... Uh, what foul that was. I believe it might be on Sam Smith. Yep. yep. His first. There is a lot of heat going on between some of these boys. I mean, when Sam fouled him, there was, definitely wasn't happiness flowing through him <laughs> at that moment. I mean, I mean you were, we were talking about how the game has changed and, you know, we can definitely see that. Absolutely. More than ever now, especially with those last few fouls. Up to Geller. Over to McIntyre. Short up to Talby. I'm still struggling with these names here. Usually by this point of the game, I've got them. Geller now. Over to Talby. All right, we're over in the right corner. Double coverage, we're gonna send it outside to Geller. Long three, and it's off. Off the oh. mark there for McIntyre. Knox getting another rebound. Oh, wow. Gonna, we're gonna call that on Sam Smith, it looks like. I definitely thought Sam was straight up that entire time. I mean, I'm not wearing the stripes, but yeah, I, I, I didn't think, that I didn't think he was moving, I didn't, but. I mean, I don't believe that an arm came down, but maybe I was wrong. Rose at the line for two. First one's good. Shane Lobb and Klein back in. Rose with one more here. Shots up. And it's Rattles good. in. Comets lead down to two. Again, John Harrell calling this a very close game tonight, and so far. And it's been very close the entire time. I mean, they get up, they get down, and then they're tied. I mean, there's no in between. That's a foul. That's going to be a That's a foul. <laughs> Austin Talby there picking up his second. 
and you know, the situation in this game could really turn in one direction or the other, depending if we keep on picking up more fouls. I mean, both teams are slowly getting into more and more foul trouble. Absolutely. Zyder for a quick three, nails it. Kate Zyder on fire tonight. Well, he, he actually just uh, shut off a scoring drought there. He'd missed his last threes, his last three threes. Got to say, all the words that I'm thinking are, or it doesn't make much sense. Not that it makes a ton of sense most of the time anyway. Well, you're getting better. Oh. Into the paint and. Back door. Comets didn't even see him cutting back door. I mean, it was a beautiful pass. Allow over to Klein. Into the paint. Shane Lobb drawing that foul. He's going to go to the line for two. Foul on 24, Cole McIntyre. Oh, no. I think I, that's 20. That was 23. That's his yeah. third. I, I thought I saw the ref hold up. He did. He's, did, he's saying 25. Oh, okay. I can count fingers. I'm doing all right. First shot good. One more shot. Second shot up off the back of the rim. Rands gonna draw the foul. Foul is on 24. Cole McIntyre. Sam Smith back in for the comments. Luke Lau gonna sit down for a few minutes. Oh. Knox getting that. Uh, picking off that pass. And another foul. Ooh. So he got a shot to the nose. Fouls on number 20, Sam Smith. His third. Man, we picked up the fouls really quickly in the last couple of minutes. I mean, both, both sides. Teams, both yeah. sides. Joey Spin coming back in. Gonna let Cade Zider sit down. Ball floated and in. We're going to have a foul here on Smith, though. I believe, is that his fourth? That's his fourth. Wow. Coach really doesn't have a choice but to sit him. Rock Wolf going back in. Did Sam pick up all of those in the third quarter? I think he did. Definitely at least three of the four. Wow. Pass in deep to the top of the key. Just over a minute left here in the third. Driving the paint, kicked it outside. Over to Geller. Back up to Talby. Over to Rose. Back to Geller. Just moving the ball around. A lot of ball. Oh, that's going to be there. a foul there on. I don't know if that's going on Rockwell for Shane Lobb. Rockwell. Rockwell. His second. Rose at the line for two. First one in. Definitely the strongest free throw shooter for the Redskins. Helping his team's free throw average pretty immensely. Second shot up and good. Forty-seven seconds left in the quarter. Just a two-point game again. Rams top of the key. Oh. Nearly gets that pass picked off. Over to Spin. Spin's gonna drive to the baseline. Oh, puts it up too much on it. And they'll get a second chance. Spin just about tried to pick that ball up out of bounds while he was standing <laughs> out of bounds. Spin looking for his play. Over to Klein. Klein for three. That's Brains good. It. Klein's first score of the evening there. 20 seconds left in the quarter. Oh. That's going to be a foul on Shane Lobb. 
And that'll be Hunter's third. Sending McIntyre to the line for two. He's one for two so far tonight. He has Off a very the long pause in between there. Cade Zider back in for the comments. Rockwolf going to have a seat. It looks as of right now we have a strong three-point shooting group out there. I mean, we have Cam Klein and Zider and Spin all have proven they can yep. shoot from the outside, and that's almost what we need. Klein oh. getting it stripped. Oh, and wow. I mean, I can't really see what's actually going on from up here because there was a mass of bodies there, but... I but respectfully I, disagree I, with that call. But, I mean, I definitely thought that came Spin off putting of some pressure hand. on. Oh, Long ball. three. Awesome. And no good there for Toby. And as we go into the fourth, Comets 34, Redskins 30. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after this word from our sponsors on Cast and TV on RTC TV4. First Federal Savings Bank has provided mortgage loans for over 50 years, and now we're offering commercial lending. Are you looking to purchase commercial real estate, equipment, or open a business line of credit? First Federal Savings Bank is your locally owned community bank for all your business banking needs. Contact Lindy Breeden, our business lending expert, to take the worry out of your business banking. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Eight minutes of regulation left, and uh, Aubrey was just saying off the air, 30 points put on the board that quarter. No, 15 points put on the board, For adding to the, okay. Which well, is, you made it sound like they added 30 no, each. A I collective, like, That's not, a collective yes. total of 30 points put yes. on the board. That's a pretty big scoring high school quarter. Yeah, especially because, I mean, from the previous quarters, the Comets had outscored them, and this time both of them put up 15 points. And that's a lot, but unfortunately, I mean, when you score the same amount as the other opponent. That's exactly. It's, it's, not it's that still big of a deal. absolutely anybody's ballgame. Oh, here, yeah, right? 100%. I mean, no one can assume that they've won the game already. And both teams are still playing with the same fire that they started with. And a lot more fight than what they started with, too. I mean, Absolutely. There have been near, there have been definite closed fist fouls tonight. Uh, oh. Lau nearly getting in the middle of that conversation. Wagner going to the hole for two. And Wagner just waiting for spin. Rans for three, oh. a little too hard. Comets are playing that overload though. And and I believe it was the first or second quarter they were playing with the overload. And it was working fine for them. But just they know Knox knows Spin's tendencies now. I mean yeah. they know that he can drive and so they definitely don't fall for the overload and stay to that side to help. Right. So that's proving as detrimental so far for the comments. Back out to spin. I thought he was going to go for the three. Fine with the fake. Underneath to Rands. And we've got a foul. That foul. He'll go to the line for two. I think he was waiting for that contact. Didn't have it. Went up, and then there was contact. I mean. Foul on number 34, Braxton Geller. And there's that foul that I missed in the first half because he was, uh, this is his fourth. And I had him down for three. First shot looking good for Rands. And Tolby's going to give Geller a or, uh, yeah, Geller a break. Geller's been a very physical force on the floor, but looking at shot statistics, he's not 
I think he's been in there really good on the boards. Rand's free throw off, and nobody Ooh. there for the... Oh! Wagner going coast to coast there. Knox still not putting any full court pressure on really tonight. Yeah, and you know, I really would have expected Open them three to for Lau, short, oh, and over foul. the back on Rands. That's his, uh, that's his first foul for the night. Really? Yeah. Of course, if he, if he does what uh, Smith did, that's going to be his first foul, and he's going to quickly pick up more. Yeah, that was unfortunate for Sam. I mean, he came in here, and he was playing hard. He just, wrong place, wrong time, how to get to help side, you know I mean? Yeah. We've got short of the line for one and one Looks like it's off. off. Rebound Tom. by uh, Shane Lobb. Spin across the center line. Out to Klein. Shane Love, top of the key, back over to Spin on the left. Lau. I thought that Luke was going to uh, go up for the three there. They've had several wide open looks. I think, you know, at this point, they still have a three point advantage. Five and a half minutes, I think it's in their best interest to slow the game down like they're doing, move the ball around. Which is kind of a scary... Fine for three. Right, because if you run down the clock with only a three-point game, you can absolutely... I mean, that's exactly what happened at us to us at Triton. We were leading the entire game except for the last two minutes, but we tried to run the clock down. Right. Oh, stuff there. Wow, good save. Thomas just knocking their hands back on the ball. I mean, they get the ball, they get it loose, and they just can't come up with it. Oh, going to Shane Lobb. And drawing the foul, he'll go to the line for one and one then. There's been a lot of fouls this quarter. Foul is on number four, Cade Short, his third. And Comet's calling a timeout. We're going to step away for this word from our sponsors here on Casting TV on RTC TV4. At Co-Alliance Propane, we treat our customers like neighbors because, well, that's what we are. When you trust Co-Alliance Propane as your seriously local propane provider, you're trusting a team of professionals who live, work, and watch the game from right across the county, not the country. A team that's close by and seriously dedicated to your safety and providing the best service possible. Find out more about Co-Alliance Propane's seriously local service and how you can get 50 gallons of propane free at CoAlliancePropane.com. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Shane Lobb at the line for one and one. Kasten back out to a six-point lead. And shot's good. Second shot up, oh, nothing but net. Knox pushing the ball now, which well, they have, go they figured back out. to the third quarter when we were commenting on how they slowed it way down and right. we were very surprised. Oh! Nice stuff by oh. Shane Lobb. And he still gets it off. Now there's the full court press. Yeah, now they're pulling in the press. Nice cross-court pass to Joey Spin. And now's the time. Slow the game down. I mean, but mm -hmm. they still have four minutes left. That's a lot of time left on the clock. Oh, absolutely. But we've both seen basketball games where the ball has been held for four minutes. That's very true. Knox not leaving any of that up to chance, though. Klein for three. Oh, off, off the mark. mark. Uh, I think yeah. that's a foul on Shane Lobb that right there. It is, and that's his fourth. And we're sending Rose to the line for one and one. Rose 100% here so far tonight from the free throw line. 
I mean, out of all the people to foul, he's, right, he's not, not really the one we want to send the line. Uh, Shots up, and it's and good. It's good. Maintaining that 100% free throw average so far tonight. Second shot up, nothing but net. Back to Rands. Comets working it down the court across this heavy press. The, the press isn't proving difficult, though, for the Comets. It's just getting something out of it afterward. Right. Oh, Ooh, bad oh. pass and turned over. Oh, oh, I'm. Very surprised that was not a foul, and so is the Knox fans. Wow. Oh, that was. He dropped his shoulder on that one. Wagner getting the score on it. And that could have been easily a foul, too. That also easily could have been out of called out of bounds on Lau. This is definitely a very two-point game again. Cool game. They better hurry or they're going to get a five-second call. Not wanting to turn it over this close either, or it's going to be an easy layup for them. Oh, yeah. And it'd be very easy for Knox to tie it back up. Three minutes left here. Oh, wow. And they're calling that out of bounds off of Luke. Wow. Comets are only up by two now. Back in for the Comets, 22, Jesse Rockwolf. Rockwolf back in for the Comets. Uh, Shane Lobb and Smith both sitting on four fouls for the Comets. The comments will hurt so much from fouls as Knoxville. Knox has not subbed near as much right. as we have. Ah, uh, that's a foul on Lau, I believe. Yes. His third. Third. But as for the comments, I mean, we have a deeper bench, and Mag coach has subbed enough that they both know that they all know the right. feel, feel of the well, game. Well, that's something that we. Um, first shot up and good for McIntyre. Something that Kagan and I talked about last game is that we, we're not seeing the heavy reliance on one or two players that we've seen in years past for the Comets. Yeah, that just really hurts the team. So um, we're, we're not in a position where we feel like, oh, if somebody fouls out, we can't do anything without oh. them. Oh. Spin, getting Almost on that loose a ball. Rebound, or a sure. turnover there. And had a foul down here. Foul on number four, Cade Short. His fourth. Team ninth. Rands at the line for one and one. Rand shooting 75% tonight from the free throw line. You know, Blair, I just don't know where this game is going to go. Ooh. Oh, and the Comets desperately needed that those one to drop. Could, I'd say those could prove to be some very, very important free once throws again, right there. Once again, John Harrell predicting this to be a one-point basketball game tonight. I mean, it could go either way here. Ooh, Rose just about losing that. Oh. And Cade Short bringing the lead. Comments. Back or comets to falling and Knox pulling back with the lead and it's first time they've led this half. Still not across the line. Oh, oh man. and a terrible pass. Comets are definitely feeling the pressure now. And see, that's why before, I mean, they were very easy going. They let go of several shots that they should have taken early. I mean, that's coming to hurt them now because Knox is now slowing it down to their pace. Nice. Rands getting in the middle of that pass. Sends it out to spin. Back to Rands. Oh, that's a travel. And Rands going to be called on a travel. 34 yards for the Redskins, 22 to Rockwood for the Comets. Full timeout. And 
the Redskins calling a full timeout. We're going to step away for this word from our sponsors here on Cast and TV on RTC TV4. Save money when you switch your home phone service to VoIP from RTC. Everyone knows that RTC Fiber Communication is the area's leading provider of high-speed fiber optic internet service. Now, RTC can help save you money on your monthly phone bill by switching your phone over to the internet with VoIP. Same great service at a fraction of the cost. Contact RTC today to find out more about this money-saving offer. Online at www.rtc1.com. At CoAlliance, we understand the importance of community. After all, we've been farmer-owned since the 1920s. And now that we're a part of your community, we want to become your total agronomy solutions provider. CoAlliance offers the latest in ag technology for your operation. From field scouting and fertilizers to premium seed and precision agriculture, we can help take your operation to the next level. Put the resources of your local cooperative to work. Contact CoAlliance today. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 96 seconds left to play here tonight. Knocks up by two. Both teams going to be feeling the pressure here tonight. Knox is going to be looking to slow the game down now that they've regained the lead. I mean, Knox, Knox can definitely feel more at ease right now than the Comets. I mean, they're still prone to mistakes, but they have the upper hand. As long as they can play their game, they're going to come out on top. Comet's going to have to be really careful about fouls. Oh, 60 seconds left. Um, Rand's going to get a foul there. We're going to send uh, Geller to the line for two. That's only Rand's second. Rand has played a pretty clean, safe game. I mean, he's done a lot for the comments, but. Geller, first shot up, no good. We've got uh, Shane Lob and Rand's both down at the posts. They need Geller to miss this, and they, they need, need to very game. quickly tie this game up. Oh. Sinks it. Needing a three-pointer to keep this game going. But they're going to have to get a cross line. And Coach Davis going to call a timeout. We're going to step away for a word from our sponsors. This is Comets Basketball on RTC TV4. I don't think of this as a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs> At First Federal Savings Bank, we offer a wide variety of services for our customers. We offer a variety of deposit products, such as personal and business accounts. We pride ourselves in being one of the top mortgage lenders in Indiana. We offer commercial lending and business checking to help with your business banking needs. Through LPL Financial, our financial services department is here to help you with your financial planning needs. Come see us today and see how our family can help your family. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Just a little bit more than 45 seconds left in regulation. Knox up by three. Comets with possession. This is definitely proved to be a very close well, game. We, we, I mean. we knew that it was forecasted to be a close game. Comets really need to sink a three here. And there's one. Ooh, and it's off. off the mark. Oh, and Knox and with that rebound. And we have a timeout for Knox. Wow, this is 16 seconds off the clock there. Comets really needed that three-pointer to fall. Honestly, though, Comets on a three-point drought. Um, 
scoring drought in general. Knox really stepped up the pressure and they've been forcing turnovers. Uh, it has been all Knox here in the last half of this last quarter. Yeah, I mean. Comet's definitely gonna need to force a turnover and sink a three and then put pressure on and prevent the Redskins from answering. I mean, and this, this 30 seconds could turn into a good solid five minutes. I mean, they they both have um, it's just crazy Time to outs think. to call. I mean, fouls that, to give. Yeah. Kasten has led by as much as eight here tonight. Oh, yep, there's a foul. And it might be that point in the game where the Comets are trying to foul. I mean, they just need to get the ball back. And if they foul, if they foul the right person, then it's likely they will get the ball back. On the other hand, McIntyre has hit his last three free throws. And it's good. Definitely looking like a nail in the coffin there. Well, I mean, if the Comets could pull through with a it's, solid three they can, and if they then get, a get three, something off of a press, I mean, there's always a lot of different ways that It's not over yet. You're work. right. Especially with out. that. That's been helpful, but the Comets have to move. I mean. Spinning in from the elbow, oh. in and out. Tip back out to Rands. Rands will take it in. And it's good. And the Comets calling a full timeout here. We're gonna step away for one more word from our sponsors. Stay tuned. Wanna know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. Tippy's Pizza in Winnemac is your local stop for fresh out of the oven pizza and ice cold drinks. Whether you're just stopping by for a drink or bringing the whole family in for dinner, Tippy's Pizza is the place to go where the drinks flow as smoothly as the river. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 15.9 seconds here, two point game. Comets needing to force a turnover. Knox wanting to just hold on to the ball. Definitely, oh. definitely an exciting Trying game. Trying to get the foul <laughs> there. Luke Loud did everything but give him a hug. He might have even done that, Sneak, snuck that in there. Cade Short, one for four here tonight for free throws. Loud joining the ranks of the Comets with four. Shot off the mark. Rockwolf coming out of the game. And you know, at this point in the game, we might need his half court shot back. <laughs> now is when we need that. Second shot up. That is good. Wagner hitting that clutch shot. Requiring a three now. And we'll have a timeout called. And we'll be back after these messages here on RTZ TV4. Hello, I'm Harry Webb of Webb's Family Pharmacy. Were you one of nearly 7,000 patients we served last year? If not, I'd like to invite you to check out our locally owned pharmacies. Transferring your business is easy to do. Just one call, and we'll take it from there. While our competitive prices are important, our success comes from our knowledgeable and compassionate staff. Make Webb's Family Pharmacy your pharmacy. Just one call, and we'll take it from there. The Winning Edge is your local provider for all your school athletic needs. From providing customizable sportswear to engraving trophies, The Winning Edge strives to help teams find their edge on the playing field. Visit The Winning Edge today. Locally owned and operated, Mike's Trash LLC in Rochester is your local service for all your trash removal needs. Whether you're a big business or a local resident, Mike's Trash LLC will be sure to take care of all your waste removal needs. Contact Mike's Trash LLC today. 
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 9.2 seconds remain in regulation. Comets now with a three-point deficit. I'd say there's some pressure here, but that's probably an understatement. Uh, you know, there's so much pressure here, you know. Some of these comments Some diamonds are might be <laughs> being formed, I mean, you know. Rands to Zyder, Zyder for three. Nails it, oh ties God. it up. Wow. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Sophomore wow. Cade Zyder, under that pressure, just drains wow. the three-pointer to tie it up. Comet's now gonna have to hold pressure on the Redskins for a second and a half and keep them from nailing a buzzer wow. beater like Rockwolf had in the first and they half. And they can't risk a foul either. I mean, right. that's, that's the hard part it's, is they want to be able to press, but I mean, they can't risk fouling because then that gives them free throws. I mean, And, and you know wow. what? Um, the Redskins really picking up their free throw percentage here in the second half. Um, we've had Zach Rose, who's shooting 100% tonight from the free throw line. Uh, we have Cole McIntyre, who has hit four of his last five free throws. Um, yeah, they were uh, Redskins shooting only 33% in the first half from the free throw line. And uh, their overall percentage looking much better at this point. Comet's really not having been at the line a lot here in this second half. Um, I guess they've, they've only visited the free throw line for seven shots. I mean, oh, time, time put back on the clock here. 2.2 seconds. That's you know. an eternity. Yeah, and then, I mean, that could be anything. Comets fans and, on the oh. edge of their seat and Ooh, that was very McIntyre missing that chance to uh, win the game for the Redskins at the buzzer. We're going to go into overtime, so we're going to take an opportunity to step away for these words from our sponsors here on Casting TV on RTC TV4. Hello, I'm Harry Webb of Webb's Family Pharmacy. There's been a lot of hype about CBD oil. The truth is, you better know what you're getting. St. Jean CBD products from Webb's Family Pharmacy deliver 99% pure CBD extract in a natural hemp seed oil. They are an Indiana-based company committed to quality and purity from farm to pharmacy. St. Jean CBD products are only sold in pharmacies. So talk to one of our pharmacists at your local Webb's Family Pharmacy to help select a safe CBD product that can help bring balance to your life. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to overtime here tonight in this very exciting basketball game we've had. Cade Zider pulling out the tie for the Comets, giving them a chance, letting them stay in this as the Redskins absolutely dominated uh, that last quarter there. Redskins yeah, outscoring wow. the Comets, but only outscoring the Comets by four points. I mean, that's true, but still, I mean, wow. So much happened. There were fouls. There were buzzer there, beaters. I mean. All of the fouls. We've got three comments sitting on four fouls right now. I mean, so much has happened. Just the pace of the game has changed. And, I mean, at this point, they got to be hungry. And it's red ball. It's not the way tip off's supposed to work. I I've seen them before, and it's not supposed to do that. You mean go out of bounds? Yes. Redskins starting this overtime with possession. McIntyre. On the right, oh. he's going to send it into the paint. Oh, we need a rebound there. Oh, I mean. that's, that's going to be Shane Lobb sitting down. Wow. We've got Sam Smith coming back in. You know, I just, 
every time there's never that many comments underneath trying to root out and get the rebound. I mean, I've noticed, especially just with guys in general, I mean, it's basically a jumping contest of who can jump higher to get the rebound. I mean, in girls basketball, you have to put it into them and get them out of there or, right. you know, you don't get the ball. So, well, I the mean, flip side, though, is, is you see a lot more over-the-back fouls in guys' basketball. Rose, I think that's part of the problem. But Rose maintaining that 100% free throw percentage. Giving the Redskins a two-point advantage right now. Oh. I thought he was going back up for that three. There's Lau for three. Oh, off that's the off rim. The Every shot is so important here in this four minutes. Very. I mean, and four minutes can last, last a long time here. Four timeouts to give between the two teams. for McIntyre. Oh. Not sure why Spin picked up his dribble there. I Managed don't to either, get the pass. especially because he told Mike to leave. Over to Lau. Redskins with a four point advantage right now. The comments are definitely under a lot of pressure right now. I mean. They are not really getting the cuts and the passes that they're hoping to see. I thought Rands was going up with that. All of those boys out here right now have proven that they can hit a three-point shot. I mean, it's just a matter of staying open long enough to be able to get it off. I mean, because Knox is very tall and long themselves. Right, and Knox playing a really tight defense now. Spin up in the center ring. I mean, I just hope the comments aren't trying to hold the ball to the last minute because they. That's a dangerous are down. strategy. One shot isn't going to save Ooh. the game, is the problem. Right, no. I mean, at this point, down by four. I mean, usually it's fine with like a two pointer or a three pointer that you need, but I mean, this one. They right, it's a two possession. It's a two possession game, regardless. Splitting that and oh, okay, that was not a foul. I'll give him that. But Redskins fans around us, though, not seeing it the same way. Rands into the paint, Ooh. off the mark. Oh. Comets getting the rebound. rebound. It wasn't pretty, but they got the rebound. And there's a basket <laughs> by Rock Wolf. Now, as long as we don't continue to trade baskets like we have been, I mean, points are good as long as right. you hold them and the Redskins know here. Forth. Well, here's the other thing: Redskins know that the comments. We got several comments in foul trouble. They've just got to hold on to it here for oh, oh uncontested by Rose. Was, oh. Forty-five seconds here. That was a hard. Timeout comments. We're going to step away for a word from our sponsors. Stay tuned. 41 seconds left here in this nail biter of a game. This is RTC TV4. Got that new home edition and you're keeping it covered. Ooh, coverages now. I can help with this. Got zone coverage, man coverage, combo coverages. I don't know, Peyton. I think more like the coverage your nationwide agent offers. Oh, you want to go there? Home. Auto, life, business, farm, boat, RV, ATV, camper, pet, motorcycle, your tour bus, right. did I mention farm? Contact Jennings Insurance Agency today or visit one of our offices in Argus and Rochester. Hi, I'm John Oliver with some great news if you're shopping for a pre-owned F-150 or Ford Escape. Two of America's best-selling vehicles, and right now we have an incredible lineup to choose from. These are all local trades, so the history is no mystery. No Canadian units here. F-150s and Escapes, all priced to sell, all Oliver Ford Lincoln certified. So get more for your money and more for your trade. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 
Sorry to Oliver Ford, we had to interrupt that commercial. The, the break got over a little quicker than I anticipated. Comets moving the ball Shoot around. The ball. They don't have time oh, wow. for that. Spin move by. Oh, wow. And they're calling that a travel. Brandon should have shot the ball when he was there. I mean, he has the height to elevate. I mean, it just, those are crucial moments because Knox has not let up on their defense and he had that. Absolutely, just, several seconds. And yeah. Every second counts right now. Wagner driving across midcourt into double Trying coverage. Foul. Foul on spin, I think. They were trying so hard for that foul. Wagner going to the line. He's two for six tonight from the line. Shots up. Hit them when they those, count. Exactly, those crucial free throws. Zyder and Klein back in for the comments. Wow. Wagner nailing that one. 21 seconds here tonight. Six point game now, advantage Redskins. Mike, you can't hold the ball. Shots off the mark. I mean, they're leaving him wide open on the three point line. Foul on Cam Klein. McIntyre at the line for two. McIntyre with a really healthy free throw percentage here tonight too. And really, this game has come down to all of the times that the Redskins have been sent to the line. And the point deficit for the Comets has come down two free throws. I mean, they've gotten their last four, five points or something on free throws. Under 10 seconds here. Spin going coast to coast and drops it. And, and there's the basketball game. Basketball, wow. our final score here tonight. Knox Redskins 55, casting 49. We're gonna step away for some words from our sponsors while I try to put together some final stats. Stay tuned, we'll have uh, Coach Davis come up and talk to us here in a little bit as well on Casting TV on RTC TV4. Simplify your banking with a Simply Free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. All it takes is $50 to open the account with no minimum balance and no monthly service fees. For a limited time, you will also receive a free gift just for opening the account. And with Instant Issue, we can give you a debit card right when you open your account, giving you immediate access to your funds. Simply Free Checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. At Oliver Ford, we reach beyond your dealership expectation help you in making fun decisions on your new vehicle, or let it try our professional touch by our service and parts department. We are the only Indiana new and used car dealership that has won the President Award 17 times. With over 100 years of sales experience, we're here to hold your hand from start to finish with no pressure or gimmicks. Contact us today. Let RTC TV4 highlight your business or service in our local sports coverage. Through our platform, you have the option to use a 30 second commercial that you already have, or you can have us make a 15 second logo sponsorship for you. With eight local schools in our partnership, we're sure you'll reach your intended audience. Sponsor with RTC TV4 today. At Co-Alliance Propane, we treat our customers like neighbors because, well, that's what we are. When you trust Co-Alliance Propane as your seriously local propane provider, you're trusting a team of professionals who live, work, and watch the game from right across the county, not the country. A team that's close by and seriously dedicated to your safety and providing the best service possible. 
Find out more about Co-Alliance Propane's seriously local service and how you can get 50 gallons of propane free at CoAlliancePropane.com. At Co-Alliance, we understand the importance of community. After all, we've been farmer-owned since the 1920s. And now that we're a part of your community, we want to become your total agronomy solutions provider. Co-Alliance offers the latest in ag technology for your operation. From field scouting and fertilizers to premium seed and precision agriculture, we can help take your operation to the next level. Put the resources of your local cooperative to work. Contact Co-Alliance today. First Federal Savings Bank has provided mortgage loans for over 50 years and now we're offering commercial lending. Are you looking to purchase commercial real estate, equipment, or open a business line of credit? First Federal Savings Bank is your locally owned community bank for all your business banking needs. Contact Lindy Breeden, our business lending expert, to take the worry out of your business banking. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, still waiting on Coach Davis to talk to the guys. Uh, stats, it just really kind of turned into a uh, shot percentage kind of thing, as well as fouls. Uh, Comet shooting 9 for 28 in three-point territory, only 7 for 17 inside the arc, and the shot 8 for 11 from the free throw line. Uh, honestly... That free throw percentage still, it ended up looking pretty good. It was just a matter of they didn't get enough visits to the line uh, to overcome their other percentage deficits. Uh, Comets ended the night with 23 fouls. Hunter Shanelob sitting down uh, after fouling out early in overtime. Redskins, uh, two for 15 in three point territory. 19, or no, excuse me, can't read my own chicken scratching. 14 for 23 inside the arc. Ow, that was all of our ears, Aubrey. Sorry. And 21 for 31 from the free throw line. Uh, again, really incredible that they turned that around, ended up shooting about 66% from the free throw line. When they went into the locker room at halftime, they were only shooting 33%. End of the night with only 16 fouls total. Uh, Redskins didn't have anybody foul out. Um, and then turnovers. Turnovers is the other area where the Redskins really got things under control. Uh, they, had, uh, they had 22 turnovers in the first half and then only eight in the second half, including overtime. So really, uh, really started dominating boards and cleaning up, um, cleaning up their passes. Uh, not allowing the Comets to get in there and force those turnovers. Uh, Comets had still wasn't bad. It was uh, only 13 turnovers in the second half, That's including not, overtime. That's yeah, not bad. it's it's. But Knox just really cleaned it up again. Uh, Knox went into the locker room at halftime with 22 turnovers to the Comets 13. Uh, so. Comets stayed fairly consistent in turnovers through the whole game, uh, keeping them in single digits in uh, all five quarters of play, or, well, <laughs> all four quarters and overtime. Saying five quarters uh, just really makes me sound special. So, uh, you know, the other night, Coach Davis was up here before I was even done with my stats. It's always a... Uh, Always, always a different dynamic, uh, especially in a game where uh, things just really kind of got out of control in overtime. I mean, the, they all, the comments also went into the locker room on a high. I mean, Rockwolf just made that basket, and they didn't come out near as aggressive as Knox did. Right. Well, Knox coming out realizing that the game was on the line, um, and again, it was... Knox outscored the Comets first quarter, uh, eight to eleven. Second quarter, uh, Comets really outscored Knox, 
uh, 11 to 4. Third quarter, the teams tied it up uh, at 15 points each in the third quarter. And then uh, fourth quarter, Knox putting 15 more on the board. Comet's only getting nine points on the board in the fourth quarter. And then in overtime, Knox putting 10 points on the board. And I think it was something like six or eight of those were from three th from free throws. So uh, once again, that the fouling is just what put the Comets, what what really put the Comets in trouble and kept them there. Mm -hmm. And we talked early in the game about how free throws could matter and create a big difference in the game. And we actually talked about that during this game. And it ended up coming down to free throws. It I mean. really it really did. Again, 21 of Knox's points came from the free throw line. And, you know, a couple things to look at. First off, if they would have continued with the free throw percentage in the second half that they had in the first half, that would have been a Comets victory. Second thing is, uh, once again, it's not just making those free throws, it's getting the free throw opportunities and denying them to the other team. Uh, because once again, uh, our Comets shot eight for 11 from the free throw line. Not the most amazing free throw percentage, but definitely not what we've seen in years past. And they just did not get the opportunity only at the line for seven attempts in the entire second half, uh, including overtime. Now, I know I remember when we were talking, though, I mean, Rands, he missed some important free throws in, like, the third or fourth quarter when right. we really needed points. And I think, I, I think that if we would have had the opportunity and hit those free throws, it would have been a different game because Knox still would have been, have like, had the – down hand, we would have had the upper hand, and I mean right. the pressure got to us. Right. Yeah. Those those uh, free throws that Rands missed would have been clutch and would have possibly allowed uh, would have possibly allowed the Comets to clutch it in regulation. On the other hand, with the intensity that the Redskins played with in the entire second half, they may have just absolutely come back and answered those two points. Mm -hmm. So. Well, yeah, we're just waiting on Coach Davis to come up and join us. Uh, we will give him a few more minutes in the locker room talking to the guys. We're going to step away and uh, give our advertisers a f some more promotional consideration. Uh, stay tuned. We're waiting for our post-game wrap-up with Coach Davis. You're watching Cast and Basketball on Cast and TV on RTC TV4. At First Federal Savings Bank, we offer a wide variety of services for our customers. We offer a variety of deposit products, such as personal and business accounts. We pride ourselves in being one of the top mortgage lenders in Indiana. We offer commercial lending and business checking to help with your business banking needs. Through LPL Financial, our financial services department is here to help you with your financial planning needs. Come see us today and see how our family can help your family. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Coach Davis getting up here to join us at the table. Coach, thanks for coming up. That was a that was a tough second half. The Redskins came out with a vengeance after uh, the Comets really owned the second the second half of the first quarter and the second quarter. So, uh, you know, what what were you seeing from your vantage point down there? I mean, I thought we. Uh you know, we got off to kind of a slow start and got down 9-2 to start. Uh, and I thought we got back to, to doing things the right way in the second part of the first quarter and then the second quarter and put ourselves in a position where we had a lead at halftime. And I thought we were really solid in the in the third quarter. And, um, you know, I think we put ourselves in a position in the fourth quarter where we were up eight. Uh, and then we just kind of had a one-and-a-half, two-minute spell where uh, we turned it over multiple possessions in a row. And, you know, let them back in the game, and they did. They did a good job of executing. Uh, they did a good job of competing. I thought they came up uh, with a lot of big 50-50 balls down the stretch, and uh, you know they were able to execute and then hit some free throws in uh, the overtime period as well. Absolutely, it really from from up here. What Aubrey and I were saying, it really looked like uh, the Comets just trying to get in there 
and force those turnovers after that eight-point lead dissipated um, really put us in some foul trouble. And, uh, and the Redskins were just able to execute from the free throw line. I, I, th I really think that's where it all came down to. And uh, it was a tough loss tonight, uh, a lot of excitement tonight. Uh, Comets fans, I feel like, all kind of uh, need a little bit of a refund because we only used half of our seat for all of the night. So um, good energy and uh, great effort from the guys and the coaching staff. As always, we appreciate what you do with the guys. Thank you. So, uh, Coach, hey, we won't see you until after the New Year. So Merry Christmas and uh, look forward to the next time we get a chance to watch Comets play. Thank you. Merry Christmas to you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up tonight's broadcast. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, big thanks to Aubrey Daig for commentating with me and Autumn Garling for the camera work tonight. Uh, we will be broadcasting tomorrow at 2 o'clock for the Casting Girls game. Uh, so until then, this is RTC TV4. Yeah.